And now we're off to dancing. Let's go. So we're finally at what I think is a majority of people's favorite brewery in the city due to their beer. Dancing Gnome is widely known as like the, if you need hazy IPA type of place. Destroy every single hazy they have. They're unbelievable with beer brewing. I feel like a jag off because we ordered beers and then I saw this one, which is called the Spy Dolphin. It's like two, it's like Josh and Veloc, or uh, Raptor photographer. Yeah. It's like, I love spies, I love dolphins. Why would I not love it? So I tried to switch, it became this whole thing. They'd already poured the other beer. Real awkward, I tried to buy them both. I didn't know what was happening, I panicked. Talk about efficiency though. Efficiency. I also mentioned that we've never been to their outside in the back here. I've only ever been to their showroom. I'm blown away by just like the ability to maneuver in COVID and everything and have this outside open. So enjoy it. So here you go, spy dolphin. <laughs> So good. So it's a double IPA, I believe. Hazy. We haven't had a hazy yet because the last was we at, we had two smoothies. And it's that's amazing. It's what you expect from dancing. You know? It's a bit of a distance for people that might live in the city area, but ten times out of ten, well worth it. Amazing people, amazing beer. I love it. So before I give you my review of uh, this beer I'm about to drink from Dance you know, I just want to point out that behind Deke right now, there's a dude wearing a Penn's jersey with his sleeves cut off from that. And Ooh. I feel like knowing our producer, he might be cringing. Ooh, I like that now. a lot, actually. Uh, knowing our producer, uh, Josh Alsace, he might be cringing right now at the thought of that, but I'm just going to leave it there. So. That sounds uh, like a wonderful. It sounds wonderful, yes, but knowing hockey... I don't think you can say that by being a baseball purist. You can't make fun of hockey purists. Anyways, moving on. Uh, I'm drinking something called a Track Botanical. It's a single IPA that uh, Dancing Gnome provides. And by the way, just looking at the different uh, kind of logo designs. Side coffee. Side coffee. The logo designs they have. I kind of like this. Different hop styles that they it's have. It's like Alter right Genius' there. mustache there. I like yeah, it. it's kind of... It's kinda, they got rid of the glasses to kind of make it less hipster-like, so I'll just throw that out there. Cheers. So obviously it's everything that you expect from a Dancing Gnome beer. They are famous for their hazy IPAs. It kind of depends, though, because most of the time you're going to use different hops to be able to kind of get a different taste with it. Some are going to be a little bit lighter than the others. Some you're going to get much more of a stronger type of bite with it. This one, you definitely get the stronger bite with it, but it's still refreshing in all seriousness. Um, I know some, they'll get that bite and they're gonna be turned away from it right away. But in all seriousness, this is a very delicious beer. I would highly recommend from that. And for people who kind of want to be introduced to the whole concept of hazy IPAs all together, I don't think there's any other place in Pittsburgh that you can go to other than Dancing Gnome, to be honest. So we just left Dancing Gnome, which, uh... They have an outdoor area. Yes, they do, which I did not know existed. I'm so happy it does exist. Thank God it exists because it's hot as hell out right now. But uh, my big gripe against Dancing Gnome has always been that it's tough to find a seat in there just because it's so popular. Yes. The outdoor area is amazing. Beer, amazing as always. And we got to hang out. Uh, Boyd and Dre were with us. We did not take videos this time because they were so popular on the last time. Yeah, we didn't want to like overexpose them and also we met one of the brewers over there and they kind of gave us an inside scoop about the fact that they'll be expanding to a warehouse that's close to it and then they'll also be keeping the current location yep. so hopefully we'll be able to still sit outside but yet also get some new type of brews that they'll be going on I mean, Dancing Gnome is just one of the best breweries in Pittsburgh. It's not even close. Oh, They're, no. It's just unbelievable. Oh, no. We touched on this, too. Like, if you want hazy IPAs or hazy anything. Hazy King. To, hazy King in general like that, like, Dancing Gnome is the way to go. But I'm excited to see some new stuff to, for them to kind of try out. 100%.